Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Now I'm sitting at my desk on my tabla, my table, my table, and I got my laptop buzzing away. And basically, I've just been in the middle of kind of building, oh, that's wrong, building a website, but also, I've had a, a, I don't know what's the right word for it, but a spike in stats the last couple of days. So it's now Friday, it's five to one in the morning. And it's yesterday, so Wednesday rather, I had, so Wednesday the 4th of September, 3,282 downloads and 85 on-demand plays. And today, like Thursday so far, because it doesn't actually come to an end until about 3 o'clock, so there's still another couple of hours left. Uh, so far 3,307 and 43 plays so 3,307 downloads so I'm not, I'm not sure what's happened because on Tuesday I only had 1,998 downloads Monday was less than that a little bit less Sunday was 2,347 downloads so it's a big, big jump. And from the looks of it, I'm probably going to be getting at least another two or three hundred downloads before the end of Thursday's stats. So that's going to be three, 3,500, maybe more. So it's like, wow. So I don't really know... I could look at the sources to see where the majority of them are coming from. So for this, just for the current week, so it's one, two, three, four, five days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So... Thursday or today so far, you know, this hasn't finished yet, 895 downloads from Apple Core Media iPhone. Wednesday it was 1,680, uh, 1,698 downloads on the Apple Core Media iPhone. 333 Spotify, 177 generic Android app. Now Thursday is 992 Spotify, 274 generic Android app. So I, so I don't know. But then, if I go to others, click on others, which doesn't specify what it is. At 128 so far for Thursday and 110 for the day before, 169 others. So that could be anything. It could be from the website. It could be anywhere. 148, 123 for Sunday. So I've got all these different places. So CastBox, that's another one. So the top ones, Apple Core Media, iPhone, Spotify, and generic Android app they're the top three for the week 
as far as sources. Cast box is number four. And I've had 205 downloads on Castbox on Thursday, 137 on Wednesday. And then I go down to Stitcher, which is number five. Uh, so far this week, 655 downloads. Stitcher today or Thursday, 173 downloads, 140 the day before. Then you've got Apple Core Media iPad, 625 for the week, 241 downloads on Apple Core Media iPad. That's for Thursday and 78 for Wednesday. This is all looking like Thursday is going to be quite a few more added on because yesterday when it started doing the stats for Thursday I had 3089 downloads altogether. And then today, it added up and added on downloads from other places. And it's 3,282. So, blimey knows what it's going to be for the Thursday. It's very, very, very ooh. Very ooey and ah, you know. Let's have a look what it says about geolocation. Demographics doesn't give me anything for some reason. Okay. So geolocation. This is just for the last seven, what well, the last five days. 46% from the United States. 15.6% from the United Kingdom. Canada 10.7, Australia 8.9, Germany 3.6, New Zealand 2.3, Sweden 1.1, Ireland 0.91%, Netherlands 0.90%, Iraq 0.71%. So that really covers quite a few different countries, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so it's 10 countries all in all, there's no doubt other countries as well, but I'm thinking this is just the stats for when people listen to it through Spreaker, not through all the other places like iTunes and stuff. Montreal is the top city. 2.49% Vancouver Canada again in Canada that's the second top city of uh, people downloading 2.13% Mountain View CA United States that's in America I think that's 1.52% and this is T right so Houston TX United States 1.20%, Lansdale PA United States 1.18%, uh, San Diego CA United States 1.16%, Amsterdam, oh, that's not even Amsterdam, it's, I thought it was Amsterdam, proper Amsterdam, but it's not, it's, it's New York. I didn't know there was an Amsterdam in New York. United States, 1.13. Ah, oh, so now we're out of, so Canada, isn't that interesting? The top, like 46% of the people that listen or download my stuff on Spreaker, directly to Spreaker, are from the United States. Canada's third at 10%, yet, yeah, top three cities are from Canada no the top two cities are from Canada ah. 
Brits are going down to Germany um, Illinois I can't pronounce this it looks like it's two L's M-E-N-A-U that's not a word Nya Nya Lemenia Lemenia maybe I mean it could be I-L but it looks like it's two L's and in the United Kingdom Slough and if I'm correct by the way I want to say hello to all of you from those cities uh, you know, in Canada Vancouver Mountain View Houston uh, Montreal Vancouver Lansdale San Diego Amsterdam and New York Neuer uh, Germany Slough and finally Red Bank United States and NJ I'm guessing that's New Jersey just a guess oh by the way only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes I do normally say that at the very beginning and I might have said it but I can't remember I don't remember so that's those let's have a look at so demographics there's nothing on demographics I'm sure I've had demographics before geolocation and this is what I don't understand I've no likes not one of them has had a like <laughs> and I know that people are coming back so somebody must like what I'm doing yet yeah, no like this week not one has been liked not on the Spreaker website anyway so devices and it's no surprise here this is the, basically the way it's going um, mobile 80% 80.86% of people listening to my Podcasts are up from mobiles, mobile phones, cell phones. Other, which is, I don't know what that is. Well, basically, tablet is 6.42%, desktop 5.18%, smart speaker, which I'm guessing would be like a um, Alexa or Siri or you know those kind of things 0.79% but that is growing ah it said the smart speaker is Amazon Alexa 100% is them and that's only going to grow um, I actually went on to because I've got uh, Apple TV uh, like the box the Apple TV box and it's got podcasts on there and I click on podcasts and I put my name in and all of my podcasts come up I can listen to them and I can listen to stuff through the Alexa if I want I, you know I had to turn it off because it kept flashing I don't mean you know taking its trousers down or anything but it just it just and it was a little bit it was bugging me so I turned it off and also just I don't know if you've listened to previous episodes of this but I asked the Alexa you know what it thought of me and it said like me as a friend so I got rejected by a smart speaker ultimately so the tablet mobile tablet is iOS 65.47% so that would be like you know Apple basically Android 31.82% watch OS again I'm guessing is that the Apple watch 2.54% and 
and Fire OS. 0.17%. So I'm not sure. I've got a Fire TV, but I don't know. Uh, so I've got Windows, uh, the desktop Windows 57.36%, Mac OS, this is the desktops, 31.80%, and Linux, 10.85%. Now, I don't know much about Linux. What I do know, what I discovered, which I didn't know before, is a lot of websites are made using Linux. Um, WordPress is a Linux um, app or a, a Linux operated system. Although it also works on all other like computers and stuff. That was boring, wasn't it? So overall. I've got, because it was about a week ago I hit the 400,000, I've now got 414,567 downloads, 18,510 total plays, I've only got 14 total likes, can you believe that? I was like, what? 14 likes, so what's that work out at? One, that's one like for every 100,000 or so. No, that's, that'd be 10, 1, no, 2, 2 likes for every 14,000. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, da, da, 3 likes for every 14. Yeah, anyway, it's not a lot. And I've got 341 total followers on Spreaker. So if you are listening on Spreaker, maybe you'd like to follow me. So I have these little splurges and these little spikes of followers where it just goes up by 50 or 60 or 100 and then nothing for weeks and I just stuff I think it'd be quite nice to have some of those numbers up a little bit but I do also realize that a lot of people listen using other podcast uh, providers you know like iTunes and Spotify and the like. So looking at my all my different podcasts, the number one, which is still number one, and has been number one for a long time, is the Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. And I've got 80,518 downloads total for that podcast. 2,627 plays. Second is... Yeah, second at 77,837 downloads and 1,869 plays is... Hypnosis for Sleeping Deeply. So that's got all my sleep sessions on. Third, at 69,457 downloads, 1,054 total plays, is Sleep Insomnia Hypnosis. Again, that's got all my my insomnia sessions on there. And next down the list would be um, by the looks of it. Yeah, the next one down the list is relaxation hypnosis for stress and anxiety, which I need to make a new one because I haven't done one for probably well over a week I'd say uh, I've got 29,314 downloads for that one 1,332 plays and the next one down is the Sleep Hypnosis Weekly at 25,529 downloads 
543 plays. So they're the main, the main ones really. Um, all the others are fairly further down. Um, the closest one, probably the the de, 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 de. self development, self help, and self development hypnosis. 13,229 downloads and 766 plays. The Stop Smoking course has grown to 7,502 downloads. Um, they're all growing, but. So I would have thought that the relaxation hypnosis podcast would grow because it's got lots of relaxation lots of relaxation sessions on there but I suppose that the sleep ones are clearly the most popular um, and then the anxiety and uh, panic attack ones that I do uh, sleep hypnosis with music got 10,006 total downloads but there's only 6 recordings on that one so I'm still getting it's not a huge amount some like 45 downloads 38 downloads it's one of those that's just floating along if that makes sense so the Sleep hypnosis with music, number six. I've had 4,638 downloads of that. And there's another five, two of them, two others are over two, over a thousand each. They're all like reaching about a thousand, or just above. I'm kind of excited about the excited about the stats how it spiked I know it's only been for a couple of days and but this has happened before it happened when I first reached the thousand mark daily and once it reached it it really went below it and it got to a point where it never went below a thousand and then the same happened when it got to 1500 a day it really went below 1500 and then it got to 2000 really went below 2000 it never goes above 1000 you know the lowest it goes now I had one the other day 1000 was it 900 or 1800 that's really rare that's low so that's a low day so I might have hit you know averaging about 2,500 a day for the last month or so, maybe longer. So maybe now it's gone up, now it's gonna, you know, raise the ceiling to over 3,000 a day. And perhaps that will be the marker where it won't go below. Which I'm quite, I don't know, it's the little things like that that excite me. It might be weird, I suppose I shouldn't really be talking about excitement being excited when it's supposed to be boring but uh, did I you know what out of all those stats I missed out the let me bore you to sleep one didn't I I talked about the deep sleep whisper hypnosis sleeping deeply sleeping all the other ones so the stats for this podcast are Let Me Boy to Sleep 59,602 downloads, 4,655 plays. So, this podcast I've got more plays than I have on any of the, uh, any of the other podcasts. And it's also one of my most popular ones as well at 59,000. It's nearly 60,000. It's only one. 
two, three. There's only three podcasts that are ahead of it in numbers. But, you know, even in stats, it's... Uh, it varies. It really does vary. Like Sunday, I had 368 downloads. But Wednesday, 253. Thursday, 242. So it's not like millions. But I know that there's a loyal... Well, I don't use the word loyal, but there's a... There is a loyal audience for this podcast. There's a specific... This is a kind of a specific thing that people like or, you know, <laughs> or not, I guess. And for those of you... Because bearing in mind, this is number 211. And I'm continuing this for the rest of my life. So... And I'm 49 now. I've got another 50 years in me. So I'm going to be doing this. There's going to be thousands of these let me bore you to sleep sessions. And, you know, I'm, I'm welcoming you along for the ride. As I talk about more and more just boring stuff. As well as sharing my life with you. And I've said this before, it's a win-win situation for me because you could say, if you say to me, yeah, your life is so boring, which means I've done my job right because it's supposed to be boring. And if you say, well, that was really funny and, you know, that was really entertaining, that's also a compliment. So, you know... Because I know that I've been told by enough people that not everybody listens to these let me bore you to sleep to go to sleep. A lot of people do, and rightly so, because it is boring. But a lot of a lot of people listen because it's almost like having a friend in like a, a friendly voice. I think I've got a fairly friendly voice. And I don't make recordings when I'm in, in a bad mood because, first of all, it's not fair on anyone. It's like, who wants to listen to that? You can, if you want to listen to people arguing, being rude, you can get that anywhere, can't you? Go on te television, on the news and stuff. Or just go to a supermarket or get on a bus. So I only make recording when, so, when I'm feeling okay. And... You know, I do have bipolar, so I'm, I don't always feel okay. Which is why sometimes I don't make recordings for a few days at a time. Sometimes it's a week I go without making a recording. Or I make them at weird times because I'm not always in the mood, you know. But I'm going to continue doing them. Oh, yes. And sometimes doing them, I actually feel... I almost feel like I've... Uh, kind of caught up with an old friend you know which is you it's kind of like we're sharing this hour you know and I try and make every recording last the same amount of time roughly about an hour there's the occasional time when I just I'm too tired and I bore myself too much and I have to finish early sometimes I finish uh, <laughs> sometimes I do finish early and um, I just can't go on you know it's like uh, I do, there have been times when I've literally and you'd have to listen back to lots of recordings to find it because I'm not going to tell you which one it is there's a few actually but not many but there are a few when I've literally fallen asleep while I'm talking and I have no idea what I was talking about and I woke up talking and I didn't know what the beginning of the sentence was <laughs> and I just continued hoping that I hadn't said anything really silly like you know really 
really silly, you know. It's, you, you know what I mean? Just like really embarrassing or something like that. Not that I'm that bothered, but I think that's a thing that I forget because not everybody, not everybody does this. There's, there's lots of people that do podcasts, but not everybody. I suppose quite a few people would uh, put on an act, maybe put on a persona, like a radio persona, or there'd be it'd be an educational podcast. And um, this is kind of raw in a sense. It's like raw, just not not the raw of the movie. Not Eddie Murphy, um, but just kind of honesty mixed with lies. <laughs> that's that's what I like, and uh, yeah. But however, therefore, blah blah blah. Some of my other podcasts are very, very professional, I think. Like the relaxation hypnosis for anxiety or for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. Very focused in those. You know, I kind of get to the point. I, I talk and I, you know. I'm always going to do that. I'm not... Well, it's hard to avoid talking if you're doing an audio recording, but I'm always gonna I'm gonna wander off a little bit, but it's not always, you know, there is kind of a point to it because you think about it, that is what our brains do. You know, our brains are not designed really to listen with a hundred percent concentration and focus for an hour straight that's a long time for anyone to listen and to be able to focus so I kind of join you with that as in maybe I lose my focus a bit but yet still stay on the same subject. You know, when I'm doing the other recordings. And, yeah, still got to do my sleep hypnosis weekly. And the reason I haven't done that yet, and I think I'm about a week overdue doing the last one, is because... It's finding the space or the time when Andre is not around. Because right now, I'm in the living room. I've got my laptop on, but that's because I've been looking at the stats. Normally, if I'm at the table making a recording, I'll have the laptop down so it gets rid of that sound, the little buzzing sound. But I can't go into the bedroom because Andre is uh, making love to his slipper. I know you don't realise perhaps what the sounds he makes but he makes some very romantic sounds I, I, I guess they're romantic in ferret talk now he's coming here so he's going to have some much, uh, much uh, deserved drink of water you know what he does he dips his chin into it he's got like a little wet beard so I don't know if he does that like a storage of water and then he goes to sleep and then he just like drinks off of his beard later on I don't know and then sniff at the, sniffing at the bowl where his dinner is so I gave him his dinner a little bit late today So let's have a nice drink of water. He's got this blue bowl. It's actually a cat litter tray. Don't worry, it's never been used as a cat litter tray. But I was trying to train him up 
to get him to go to the toilet and he wouldn't go near it and it's got a little dip at the front it's got a high end and it's got a little dip at the front so he could like walk into it if he wanted and in the end I thought hmm I'm not using this so he's never going to use it for what I want him to use it for and then I thought well why don't I just fill it with water so there's a big bunch of water he can what he does in the summer when he thinks I'm not looking he does get into it a little bit I puts his puts his hands in and he puts his head under the water and he, he kind of gets a little bit wet and now he protests when I give him a bath makes out that he's scared of water but he's not really because when I'm not looking and also last year I think it was last year uh, in the summer him and his uncle because he's got his uncle passed away but he was a, a um, polecat and he's kind of like a mixed polecat ferret Andre's a mixed polecat but he's more 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 ferret than polecat really he's just he's just Andre but they were related he you know they I think they both had the same mother actually possibly or you know but they were related and me and my friend who had his uncle the, the other ferret we took him down to the pond and we both had him on their leads he chucked his into the into the into the pond like into the middle of the pond and because he loved that he loved it he loved that and he'd swim back and he'd like get ready to be chucked in again it wasn't like chucking in badly it's just like like chucking a child into you know into a little bit into the water so I did it with Andre absolutely loved it because he was with his uncle he copied everything that his uncle did everything he'd walk behind him when we went for walks he'd walk behind him and he'd basically rub himself and sniff every single thing that his uncle did if his uncle um, just laid there he'd just lay there it's like he just copied him and they, they were great when they were outside walking but when they were inside they didn't leave each other alone really I mean they used to fight or viciously fight but never got hurt because on because his uncle basically Andre was a little baby and he when he first came to me um, the man who brought him he brought his little, his little brother with him as well so there were two of them these tiny little ferrets are tiny little things and his uncle basically kept grabbing them and putting them like bossing them around and telling them what to do and they listened to him they did what they were told they were naughty always running around and biting and fighting and causing hazard, havoc but and I had them up here for one night and they caused so much problems for me the two of them I phoned my friend and I said look you've got to take one I can't have both I can't I wasn't going to have both anyway but I just because someone else had already kind of adopted him like had him was going to take him and he did but they were so much oh but I kind of it, basically it's just the same as like little kittens you know when you get kittens together and they get past that point where they, they start moving around and they start climbing up your leg and then they start climbing up the curtains and at some point running along the ceiling how do they do it I don't know but it just moves so fast they sort of defy gravity and I think that's when kittens kittens are so cute 
anyone, I defy anyone to think that a kitten's not cute. It's just phenomenally cute. And it's so playful and so naughty. And those big eyes, just beautiful. Uh, and he, he was like that, really. He was like a little kitten. But vicious. Because kittens aren't vicious. Kittens, well, I've never met a, a kitten that was vicious. They always seem quite gentle and, you know. But he, he wasn't at all. He didn't like me one bit when I first got him. And I realised, and this is going back to me talking about, you know, honesty. I think I picked him because he didn't like me. And I think I've got, I've had a thing for girls that don't like me. In the past, like someone that I had to kind of work to get their affection or it was a challenge to get them to like me instead of just doing the natural thing and being with someone that does like me which would be the most I mean that's like the obvious thing to do isn't it you meet someone and if they like you and you like them that's brilliant that's like that's an amazing thing it's a wonderful thing but oh no not me I had to make it awkward for myself I was okay not lusting because that's the wrong word because I fell in love with this this uh, girl or lady who worked in this coffee shop and about six years I didn't do anything I didn't ever I tried to talk to her a couple of times and it was just she looked like looked at me like I like I don't know it, she looked at me like I'd saved up a year's worth of farts and just farted into a bag and handed it to her as a birthday present it's kind of that look on her face I don't know just and I just, I just fell in love with her when I first, the first time I saw her, I just fell for her. And she was never nice to me, ever. Um, it's weird, isn't it? But yeah, I've had times in the past when someone has been really nice to me, it's made it so obvious that they like me. Not recently, but in the past. Well, actually recently as well, there was, there is somebody that I've been getting on really well with. Fucking Andre. Shush. Can you hear him? It's basically in a carrier bag, a plastic carrier bag. See, carrier bags, plastic bags, get a lot of bad press with wild animals. Well, there's one little wild animal that loves plastic bags. And he said to me the other day, Daddy, I don't care if they, they put the price up to two pound a bag, you better buy them. You better keep buying them, I love them. And when I first, when he first, I did think, well, what if he got trapped inside the bag? And you hear him now, he's doing it on purpose. scratching I don't know why I wish I knew why he does it it's not he's not even looking at me because usually when he's doing something to wind me up Here he's scratching now. He usually looks out to see if I'm watching him. Because he likes me to chase him around. Strange boy. But 
but uh, anyway, I you know I was watching a video the other day, and I'm really I probably mentioned this. I'm really into motivational positivity, inspirational videos, uh, lectures and talks by people on positivity and. It's really a big thing for me at the moment. I love it. And I was watching Zig Ziglar again, I think, this morning. Or was it Jim Rohn? But I just, just love... It seems to be a mixture between that and watching boxing. That seems to be the two things that I seem to be watching at the moment. I just... It just fits in with the way I want to feel I want to feel positive not falsely positive but positive just and the idea is you know we become what we think about and I'm thinking about having him adopted right now Don't know why he's doing that. Anyway, I was watching a video and it was a 10 minute video. And I was watching it. Oh, he did just look at me. He wants me to tell him off. Really, he's like some kind of sadomasochist or something. And I, I was watching this video listening to it and I was thinking this is going I'm not even going to edit this out I'm just going to leave it in See the problem I have with making recordings, I can't make them during the day because of all the daytime sound, the neighbours in the garden, lawn mowers and stuff, so I wait until early hours of the morning. And I got him. if I've got a shed one that kind of leans against the wall so not like a standalone shed but kind of like half a shed I was going to order it from the catalogue and you know pay it off over a few months put soundproofing inside it and I've already got the soundproofing material on my walls already so I started to take it off the wall and I was going to put it inside the shed that way I could make recordings during the day or any time I wanted with no background sound and which means I could then sleep at night just like a normal night sleeper and then I thought oh, that's, it was going to cost £250 to buy it and I thought no I can't can't I just it's too much and now he stopped see he does it he only does it for a little while and then he stops and I probably won't hear from him for another few hours he's a little monkey he is really is and let me show you something else that I've got here which might interest you 
Okay, pod cast. Okay, here we go. So this is the Apple, the iTunes. It's now Apple, is it Apple Podcast now, isn't it? Rather than iTunes, but still, uh, still, you know. I'm going to log in. And... I'm using the browser. Do you trust this browser? It's the same browser I always use. Okay. So not only does it show me the shows, which I've got, which is like, f I don't know how many I've got on here, how many shows I've got. Let's have a look. Because they're not all. Not all of 45 are on iTunes. So one, two, three, four. Eight. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So only seventeen out of the forty five podcasts are actually on iTunes. Which means I, I should look into that, shouldn't I? So, um, what it lets me do is I can look at the podcast analytics. And I can look at range of months. I wonder if it lets me look range. Oh, no. So it lets me see the last six months, the, the last 60 days rather. But I can look by month, but this is the last 60 days. Um, the top one is Hypnosis for Sleeping Deeply on iTunes. And I've had, it's been used by 1,593 different devices. And I've had total time listened. 1,829 hours and time per device 1 hour 9 minutes and the second one is relaxation hypnosis for stress and anxiety so that is the second most popular podcast over the last 60 days and I've had no it's not the second most popular at all why am I saying that? It's really not. It's just... Oh, they're going by devices. By time listened. Okay. By time listened. One hour. Yeah. So one... Hypnosis is sleeping deeply. 1,829 hours. Deep Sleep Whisper is the second one. Second most popular in the last 60 days. 1,250 1,257 hours sleep insomnia hypnosis 1,245 hours let me bore you to sleep 1,161 hours this is just for iTunes it's not for any of the other podcasts that I've got uh, relaxation for stress, anxiety 997 hours um, sleep hypnosis weekly 878 hours 
stop smoking course, 257 hours. The, and I've got, oh, that's interesting. Fall asleep counting sheep, 100 hours. Oh, didn't see that coming. And I've got a few different ones as well, but sort of range from, God, let me bore your pain away. 12 minutes. Can you believe it? 12 minutes. Now that's what I call popular. What is interesting is time per device. So the top one is one hour, nine minutes. Deep sleep is one hour, 11 minutes. But let me bore you to sleep. Time per device, six hours, 43 minutes. But then there's less devices. I don't know, I'm not really sure what all that means. I'm not totally sure. I think I know, but I don't know if I know. Let's just have a look at this month. Let's go by weeks. This week. So that's from September the 2nd, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, so 5 days, and the last 35 days, the top one in time listened is 128 hours for hypnosis for sleeping deeply, let me boy to sleep, 71 hours, 65 hours for sleep insomnia, Sleep Hypnosis Weekly, 60 hours. Deep Sleep Whisper, 53 hours. Again, that's just on iTunes, on the Apple Podcast. And <laughs> some of them are, wow, Chronic Pain Relief Hypnosis, five whole hours. But what's interesting, well, if it's interesting but again time per device let me bore you to sleep two hours and 50 minutes that's strange I don't know let's see if I let's go by month shall we It's definitely grown. What, what month is it now? September. So let's look at La in August. So in August, last month, that's 2019, total hours, 1,045 hours for hypnosis for sleeping deeply, 710 hours for let me bore you to sleep, Sleep insomnia hypnosis, 593 hours. But again, going back to this podcast, let me bore you to sleep. Time per device, 6 hours, 54 minutes, June, August. Uh, relaxation hypnosis for stress and anxiety, 584 hours. Deep sleep whisper, 566 hours. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing that on that from that is one, two, three, four, five. So deep sleep is fifth down in hours listened. But bearing in mind each session is only twenty minutes long with a deep sleep whisper. Each session will let me boy to sleep is an hour long. Ah, see, so it's kind of, it makes sense that it would be a little bit less. And Sleep Hypnosis Weekly, 509 hours in August. So there's still, it's the same top, top of the, top of the pops, yet, the 28 Day Stop Smoking course, 
is still creeping up there 156 hours So that was for August. What about July? So July was a lot less. No, is it less or more? I don't know. Let's have a look. August. Yeah, it's less. July was less than August. So I had... Deep Sleep Whisper was number one in July. 774 hours. Hypnosis of Sleeping Deeply was second. 771 hours. Sleep Insomnia Hypnosis, 664 hours. Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress and Anxiety, 480 hours. So let me boy to sleep was one, two, three, four, fifth on the list of 431 hours. And then sleep hypnosis weekly, 420 hours. And again, 28 days stop smoking, 106 hours. And then there's a big drop off. And fall asleep counting sheep is really starting to creep up. 43 hours in that month. August it was higher than that. Yeah, that's interesting how it works. It's all about June. <laughs> so this is even less. So just I guess it's gonna be less because each month is getting more. But you can see just the, how it's changed. So sleep hypnosis weekly was number one in June. At 400, no, 548 hours. Hypnosis for sleep it deeply. 543 hours. Third was sleep insomnia hypnosis at 526 hours. Deep sleep whisper, 481 hours. Relaxation hypnosis for stress and anxiety, 587, no, 387 and 341 hours for let me bore you to sleep and again time per device this podcast the let me bore you to sleep is way ahead of all the others at 3 hours 42 minutes per device ah oh, but I don't let's go back to May shall we shall go back to May so May Sleep Hypnosis Weekly, 681 hours. Sleep Insomnia Hypnosis, 626 hours. Hypnosis for Sleeping Deeply, 524. Let Me Bore You to Sleep, 449 hours. Again, time per device, 4 hours, 56 minutes for that one, or for this one. Deep Sleep Whisper, 427 hours. And Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress and Anxiety, 190 hours and that is before I started making new recordings in fact in fact the fact 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 let me have a look I think if I look at the shows sleep hypnosis weekly let's just have a quick look at this Let's have a look. When did I start making new recordings for that? That was okay. It was it was in May. It was twenty sixth of April. So that would that makes sense that it kind of uh, jumped up in April and May became like the top of the list. The same happened. Yeah, it was second in uh, April as well, 415 hours. Deep Sleep Whisper was 584 hours. Let Me Boy to Sleep, 364. Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress and Anxiety, 288. So again, when did I start making new recordings for that? Relax. 
sensation. And I reckon that was where's the picture? There it is. I reckon I've now made 51 of those, and the last one was the 29th of August. That was about a week ago. Uh, started making new ones in. January, 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 January. Oh yeah, I did 34, didn't I? That's it, I was trying to go to see how many I did. So I did 34 to start with, or 35? No, 34. And then I started making new ones in June. So, so I was getting 288 hours in April and I hadn't made any new ones at all. It was just the old ones from a couple of years back that I uploaded in November. And then May still hadn't made any new ones, 190 hours and then when I made some new ones in June 387 hours in July 480 hours in August 584 hours And September it doesn't really count yet because we're only six days in. It's got 68 hours or something at the moment. So it's not a huge amount though, is it? 68. That's nearly a week. 68, 120, 244, 61, 240. Yeah. I better make some new recordings. So, so far this month, uh, hypnosis is sleeping deeply, 167 hours. This is in the last, well, in September. It's the 6th of September now, but today doesn't count. So it's been five days, because uh, today has only really just started. Let me boy to sleep, 99 hours. Sleep insomnia, hypnosis, 83 hours. Deep Sleep Whisper, 74 hours. Sleep Hypnosis Weekly, 71 hours. And Relaxation Hypnosis of Stress, 68 hours. Oh, so again, Stop Smoking one is, so it's a lot lower, but it's still, but the next one down, 19 hours so far. So that's just, as I said, that's just for the Apple Podcasts, the iTunes. Uh, doesn't count for Stitcher or Spotify or Android or Google or any of the millions of others that there are. And there are quite a few. It's, uh, oh, just in the time that I've been talking to you, it was 3,200 for the 5th of uh, September which was yesterday and it still goes on till for about another hour or so it's now 3612 downloads so I think go on look, what was I going to look at I was going to look at something I've forgotten what it is now what I would say Check out my hypno chats. <laughs> I just want someone to listen to them. I've got 42 downloads. Seriously, 42 downloads. It's 20 episodes. So not, I guess not all of them, but I mean, these are even got titles so you can know what they're about. Uh, the first one's the future. It's about the future. 
Second one, public transport and send and healing energy. Three is self-esteem. Four, stop caring what others think. Five, gratitude. Six, be kind to yourself. Seven, a bit of freedom. Eight, feeling judged. Nine, internal dialogue. Ten, limiting beliefs and views. Eleven, attractiveness and inner beauty. Twelve, reward and punishment. Thirteen, stop smoking and other stuff. Fourteen, contentment. Fifteen, bereavement. Fifteen, sixteen, uh, death. Seventeen, is age just a number? Eighteen, let's talk about beliefs. Nineteen, can you trust someone who's cheated on you? Twenty, overcoming creativity block. Some of these were actually requests. Um, so the overcoming creativity block was a request. I think is a is just a number was one. Attractiveness and inner beauty as well. Um, yeah, stop caring what others think. So yeah, that's uh, and they're all pretty long as well. And uh, they're not short, short sessions. They're pretty. Are these hypnot? No, not hypnotic buffets, are they? Hypnotic, hypno chats. I need to start a new season, a new something fresh, something different. Ah. Oh. Hypno, hypno, hypno chats. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So they're all, they're not short. The first one's 46 minutes long. The second one's short, it's nine, it's just under 10 minutes long. Third one's 39 minutes. Fourth is 40 minutes. 41 minutes, 45 minutes, 29 minutes, 30, uh, 27 minutes. 40 minutes, 37 minutes, attractiveness number 11, attractiveness and inner beauty is 1 hour and 9 minutes and 18 seconds. Uh, number 12 is 47 minutes, 13 is 39 minutes, 14 is 30 minutes, 33, 36, 17 is 44, 29 minutes for 18, 19 is 52 minutes and 20 is 44 minutes so they're all they're fairly lengthy if you like a bit of length so that's me for now I've gone on a bit but uh, I'm trying to make up for all that scratching that Andre was doing all that but I know some people like to hear him so you've got to hear him He's just, he's a naughty boy at times. So, thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself. That's the name of one of my sessions, isn't it? Lots of love. Bye.